Uh, Mr. Zaka Bala joins us now. Uh, he's a country chemical engineer. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Good morning, Nigeria. Yeah, focusing on this report, even though we have people who are commenting on Twitter at the moment, Faisa, Yor, Omar, Shitu, Ganide, uh, Baudo, they all think that, look, let's not place too much hopes on this report because they don't think that it will be acted upon. But that's on the one hand. I uh, haven't seen the report because I know people say they've got different versions. Uh, but then, don't forget that the terms of reference also means that they are to submit monthly reports for ministerial review and further action. So maybe this may accommodate what people say they've seen. But from your perspective, what do you think of this report? Well, <coughs> first of all, from just what you have said, you know, there was a terms of reference. What I want to say is this, in any country, anywhere, being a visionary leader is not enough. You must have supportive and dedicated lieutenants. Just like having, conducting a credible election is not enough if you don't have credible candidates. Being a credible politician will not be enough for you to be a good leader if the politics is not decent. We are talking about leadership of an entire country. We're talking about a situation where one person can never have the dexterity of being intellectually sound, having the creativity, the intuitive, or the management knowledge to lead an entire country. So that simply means you must assign responsibilities. You must delegate. And if you assign responsibilities, and the people started with that responsibility, don't carry them out. I'm telling you, at the end of the day, you don't necessarily blame the leader. So in the context of what we are talking today, as far as I'm concerned... And people will not agree with you. They will say the box stops at the table of the leader. Well, 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 it will be explained. As far as I'm concerned, that report is credible today and is good to go, regardless of what people say. We've seen a little display. We've seen a scenario as at the time that report was being handed over. Right? If you ask me personally, right, I want to believe that the demonstration or the attitude of Steve in particular is just a demonstration of what I can say is unsolicited psychophancy. That's just what I will say. I, 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 I'm wondering here because at one time you were, the reports that you were disagreeing with the report, especially the figures that were quoted in this report. No, I was never, it, it, we're not talking about fuel subsidy discussions this time around, not this very one. This full subsidy discussion okay, or town hall meeting was what I was where okay. the figures let's look were at the detained. figures that were quoted here. Yes. Would you say they are correct? Well, to the extent to which they were they were obtained, you know, I mean, they are subject to to context. I mean, what, what they've done is basically like conducting an audit. And what does an audit mean? Audit simply means you demonstrating or giving you a fair and I mean, uh, true and fair view, but you have to be independent in your opinion. That's just what it is saying. It is saying, based on the information available to me, I am giving my true and fair view. But the key thing is, what is my degree of independency? What is my degree of objectivity? These are the things you do. And remember, if you present something like an audit report, it is at the discretion of management, in this case, government to act on your report or not to act on your audit report. Mm. Why do you say that uh, Mr. Orasari's uh, comments were unsolicited sycophancy? It, 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 you, you, I mean, it, it has been clearly demonstrated. The reason is this. From some of the utterances we are talking, I mean, we saw, we're talking about somebody saying, I believe in process. When you talk about process, you're talking about precision in activities that will enable you have an input that will lead to desired or expected output. And when you are carrying out those, when you have those activities, you must catalyze the process. In this case, who catalyzes the process? The people that were co-opted or appointed to manage that committee or to run it. And remember, people are saying Ribadu, Ribadu, as far as I'm concerned, Ribadu does not have the intellectual dexterity of being a chartered accountant being uh, a petroleum engineer, being a lawyer, being a human resources manager, to analyze and come out with that final report. But you know, so when you constitute a committee, that's why you have diversity. 
And that diversity simply means total participation. Because there is a saying that in a multitude of what counselors you have safety. So that, cons that, th that committee, if the members have participated effectively, I'm telling you probably the report will have been better than what it is today. But as usual, for people like me, I don't expect perfect report, but I expect realistic reports. Is and this to realistic? me, that report is realistic enough for me to go. All right. But if you look at, uh, again, part of the terms of reference, the, the second one, taking all necessary steps to collect debt due and owing to obtain agreements yes. and enforce payment terms by, by all oil industry operators and, and then you ask yourself wait a minute all firms will ask themselves on what basis are we going to be dealing with this committee because we don't know you previously you don't have we don't have any such agreement with you so why will we, should we even oblige you with any figures whatsoever first of all what are the terms that make somebody to be an investor in a given country there are terms there are conditions most the common denominator is as far as that thing has to do with the federal republic of a given country yeah, right. if, if institutions are set up for it, no problem. But this is a one-off committee. No, it's, it's a one-off committee, and it, it must always be like that. I mean, you don't have, expect one committee or one system or one agency to have the conglomeration of knowledge or activities or powers to be able to enforce certain things that the government of a country wants to enforce. So, so as far as people like, like yeah. us are concerned, believe me, is the pooling of ideas that lead countries. And that was why I started by saying, being a visionary leader is not enough. Look at like our House of Assemblies and the Senate chambers. From occasionally, you just see that place is like 80% empty. And if at the end of the day, some people say, okay, like a decision has been taken on the Uniport 4, or the Apple 6, right? Or the Mushin 5 of last week, or some days ago, or the Zamfara 30. And somebody who has not been attending will just come and say, why? You have no right. If ordinarily you are supposed to be in the chambers to contribute. And that is what we are seeing. And if that was what happened, believe me, the only way is for this to make progress and go. But regardless of how people see it, what we are seeing today, as far as I'm concerned, is a progress. Because personally today, I have the Farouk Lawan report, right? I have the uh, PIB, right? I have this report. Years back, who has the Ochibos report? You were not even allowed to see it. And that simply tells you that at least the, the, the progress may be in terms of millipedes or snail speed, but we are making progress. Because we have a situation where, as I speak to you today, some Nigerians have access to this report in Canada. Some have access to this report in South Africa. In those days, where is the Okibo report? Well, Even the draft. How authentic would you say this report is, considering the fact that some members of the, of the committee are said to have been, may have been compromised? Well, you see, it's, 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 that was why I, I said it's more like an audit. There are basic things that mustn't happen. You mustn't compromise your objectivity. Independence is one of the key things that is supposed to happen. So if people decided to compromise themselves, like I said, some of the things I saw and the, and the way they demonstrated, which I best describe as unsolicited psychophancy, such people should be dealt with. There are different ways of rewarding people. I remember in the last day, in the dying days of the military regime in Nigeria, if I can remember effectively, people like Marwa were still colonels till probably the last lap. It was after that they were promoted generals. Whether they merited it or they didn't merit it, whether they were qualified for the promotion or not. But what some of us knew was that till the time Marwa left office, he was probably a colonel. So there are different ways of appreciating people. But if you compromise your objectivity, you know, I mean, in that case, you should be reprimanded.